the hardest thing in the earlier parts is finding the enterprises who are willing to take a little bit of a risk. Because in the beginning, you don't have a brand, you don't have the sort of the social proof of other enterprises using you. So a lot of that is networking, right? And, and finding kind of somebody who's willing to raise their hand and stick their necks out. Because enterprise is a little bit more risk averse in general. They're not gonna just turn on a piece of software and it just start buying it without some structured evaluation. So somebody actually has to raise their hand and say, look, I really believe in this thing. And then they're gonna have to kind of work through their organization and advocate for your solution in order for you to get to procurement. Because the way enterprises buy, they're typically not buying just on a credit card. They're typically buying through a procurement process where there are multiple checkpoints. There's, they have to get buy in from their boss. There has to be budget from finance. There has to be security audit. There has to be going through certain kind of compliance reviews in some cases. IT, IT reviews, if it, it's touching some internal systems. And so all these aspects make it so that you have to have a very strong advocate. So early challenge is even understanding that, I think was a, was a big aha, is do we have an advocate that is going to be able to really go to bat for us? And that became something that we were constantly looking for. How do we get these folks that are gonna be advocates for us? And then once we have advocates, how do we equip them so they can easily make the case. So that became something that we constantly started to, and this might sound pretty simple for us. It took some time for us to understand, ah, when you're doing enterprise, there's all these sort of toll gates that you have to get through. So you've got to have a strong advocate.